Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Deus X for PC. Let's go ahead and talk to Jordan a few more times. So, they brought you over for the raid? That's surprising. I'm not involved with any kind of raid. Oh. Well, then you probably want to stay out of the crossfire. I just assume... So, what do you need? Ten credits? Anything in the house. Last call. Thanks for the advice. Okay, and just a little bit more dialogue. this raid. Best thing in these situations is to clear out. That's what we should have done earlier during the fighting. Who are they after? Agent Denton, I know who you are. And I know your brother. You should leave the city. Trust me. Well, she would probably know better. She is ex Unatco after all. A little more experience than I am. Hey, there's that Joe Green guy. I hate him, but let's see what he has to say. Perfect. Someone who can tell me about the raid. Like I said before, I don't talk to the press. Why are they closing down the street and shutting down the bar? What could be worse than the fighting earlier this evening? I wish I had an answer to that, but even if I did, it wouldn't be any of your business. Yeah, you know what? Oh, let's talk to him a little more. How about I interview you? Tell me what you've dug up on the raid. What's the matter? Did they leave you out of the loop? I'm the one asking the questions. Must be a high-level operation. I'd sure like to know what it is. All right, forget it. I'll find out on my own. Yeah, I don't like him. I hope I get an opportunity to knock him out later. Wink, wink. Oh, hey, Harley. Here's a tip for free. Take cover. Yanako's about to do a raid. Already knew that. Yeah, you're a little, uh, little slow on the uptake there, buddy. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. There's a few more places that I want to visit before, uh, before moving to the NSF headquarters that Yanako has taken over. First of all, down in the sewers. This is, uh, back at that place where we, uh, where we found uh, Ford Schick. There's a few things that I want to get down here. Actually, just one thing, but we also get a little bonus for it. We get some exploration points right about now. There we go. And if we break this crate open, we get some thermoptic camo. Uh, we'll hold off on using that for a little bit later. It will come in very, very, very handy uh, against, uh, well, avoiding heavy enemy gunfire. From an enemy you might not expect. At least uh, if you haven't played the game yet. Okay, so if we come around into this alley right here, we have a data cube and it has some bank information on it that we could use, but if you read it, you'll see that it is Mr. Renton's, and I really don't want to do that to the man. Oh, wait a minute. Fifth Street and Broadway, huh? Hmm. I'll remember that for later. Not for the let's play, it's for me. It's for me. Don't judge me. Anyway. Yeah, I got a new mouse since my last uh, recording session. Feels very nice. It's a uh, Razer Death Adder 2013 edition. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this Let's Play, kind of new into the whole PC gaming scene. So uh, don't expect me to be pro when it comes to peripherals and all that. But wow, I really did underestimate uh, the ability to adjust uh, DPI settings and sensitivity settings independently from one another. It's very nice. So I can actually aim at something far away and make subtle adjustments to my cursor without it flipping out or flying across the screen at the slightest movement if I turn the sensitivity up too high. Very, very nice. And I also tested my settings on a few other games and uh, seems I pretty good. Shipping you off to Hong Kong. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. Probably had something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah, Paul seems to be uh, playing up the hatred for his brother. I doubt he actually hates him that much. I mean, if one of my siblings went and uh, joined a terrorist organization, I'm pretty sure I'd be quite upset, but deep down inside, probably still love them. Speaking of Paul, we should be getting a phone call right about now. We're not really uh, on the phone. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. Okay, well, the hatch that he's talking about under the boxes is right over there. So let's head up to the third floor and open it up. Oh, we got some crates over there. Well, hold on. Got some dialogue in here. Nothing really interesting. Well, something interesting, not really uh, necessary. That's a dumb question. No, really. What does Unatco need with that kind of money? Just look around. Think Unatco would be handing out assault guns if funding was left of the UN? 
Well... The uniforms. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. Yeah, they were so cute, yeah. though. He's what they call a philanthropist. Like Tony Stark? That's this file? Yeah, all of it. The whole directory. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist. Giving to charity. Oh. Well, that's why he volunteered for FEMA. To help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Some people are just good, you know? Good to the bone. Yeah, well, if they're good to the bone, they don't shoot unarmed prisoners. So, yeah, sounds like a lot of these Unatco guys are, uh, being duped. Not really all that bad. There we go. You're not clear to the yeah, well, you're not stopping me, are you? Well, here's a med bot in here if you want to use it. What does this data cube say? Something about, uh... Yeah, pumping the gas out of the room. We want to go in that room, but it's full of gas right now. However, yeah, we can vent it out so it's safe for us to go in there. Here we go. And if we round this corner, there's a security panel right here. Oh, we also got some skill location bonus points. We'll just go ahead and hack it. All right, turn off the camera and open up that hatch. The hatch down on the lower floor underneath those boxes where we need to get to. So I guess uh, Walton Simons is giving money to Unatco. Okay, that uh, sounds like it could be a bad thing. We probably don't want that to continue on. Okay, there we go, repair bot right there if we want to. Didn't really need it, but figure why the hell not. Just top off. Go ahead and... Oh, God. Why do I always have trouble with that ladder? Yeah, we're fine, though. Anyway, let's come into this door. And there's some lasers in the way. So let's go ahead and use a multi-tool and hack this control panel. It takes two of them. There we go. And that's all done and done. Jump over these lasers. Be very careful not to hit them and set off booby traps. So, like Paul said, there might be evidence of... Uh, Unatco taking payoffs. Those two guards were talking about uh, Walton Simons giving money to Unatco, so yeah, he might be onto something there. Okay, can't pick up that lock pick. What do we got in here? All right, some lasers with some gun turrets. Yeah, we could hack that security panel right there to take care of that, but I figure might as well save on the multi tools. And just go ahead and chuck some TNT into there. And there we go. We're destroying a few of these guns. There's uh, there's a few others that we need to take care of as well. So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, look. Multi-tool. There we go. That replaces the ones we, that we used. Grab another TNT box. And go ahead and toss it over there. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, get out of the way because you don't want to get shot. And there's some green gas there that we don't want to inhale. So while that's clearing out, let's uh, see... If we can pick up a few items here. Yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, can't really get anything else. All right, let's wait for this gas to clear out. Might take a few seconds. All right, all the gas is cleared out. What's in these crates? You know, got some EMP grenades. We could probably use those. And a hazmat suit. Well, we could have used something like that uh, when the gas was there, but we didn't really have access to it. And some buckshots that we're not going to use right there. Okay, more lasers. And we could hack that if we wanted to to shut them off. But we have some conveniently placed TNT barrels right here for us to take care of those. So just go ahead, toss them in there. That takes care of that. We got one more laser grid right over there that we want to take care of. So let's uh, go ahead and grab another TNT barrel. Wow, you know what? This mouse feels really, really good. Sorry, I'm just gushing over my new mouse here. Here we go. Grab this. Be very careful. You don't want to chuck it too far or else it'll hit those lasers and, uh, well, you'll be done. There's uh, another way that we're going to be taking care of that. Let's uh, clear out a few boxes right here so we have a clear shot. There we go. And we have a clear shot at the TNT barrel right there. So what I want to do is I want to change my uh, crossbow ammo over to the standard darts. There we go. Let's aim in and fire. There we go. And that took that out. Wow, lots of green gas. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and grab another TNT canister or box or whatever you want to call it. Bring it right about here. Who the hell puts TNT in the form of a box? Minecraft. 
Okay, we could pick this lock if we wanted to. There's also another case in the other room that we could pick the lock to, in order to access what's inside. But once again, if we just uh, aim in on this TNT box, blow it up, it shatters the glass right there. So, oh, there you go. Okay, let's go ahead, grab a few bioelectric cells. Already have all the lock picks that we need. Eh, there's gas right there, so let's just wait a few seconds on that. And, uh, yeah, don't really need anything there. Already have all the accuracy mods that we can use. Let's see what's in here. Okay, well, if you read this, you will see the proof that, uh... Paul was uh, talking about, a uh, proof of what ta Paul was talking about with uh, Walton Simons giving payoffs to uh, Joseph Manderley. And there's some, uh, what you need to use transmitter on the roof. Look yeah, these are the codes for the transmitter if you don't feel like hacking in it. Alright, well, we got all the evidence that we need. Unatco is, uh... Full of bad news, some bad bureaucratic guys. So we need to get to the roof and send a distress signal to our, and I'm saying this with the quotiest of quotations, terrorist friends. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching That LP Show, and have a one that is good.